Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do so. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. It's a very ambitious goal, but um, you know, I think we can hit it fairly soon if I upload more consistently. Now, this video is going to be all about a commission I recently um, did. It's still currently incomplete, but it's pretty much 90% done. Um, it's based on an anime called Sora Online. If you don't know what it is, uh, I'll pop up a screenshot on the screen right now um, but basically I was given free reign to create a, a floor and it just needed like uh, specific aspects of the anime inside the map now this is a 4000 by 4000 stud map so it is huge it's taken me roughly like two days to make um, on and off really and I'm gonna show you basically like step by step of like uh, how I approach such a huge map and uh, how I made specific assets and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get into the video. Also, if you're not already uh, a part of my Discord community, uh, the link is in the description below. Feel free to join. Uh, I upload different types of uh, resources. You know, I, I announce stuff from time to time. If you're interested, then you know, go ahead and join. If not, it's all good. For those of you who have never heard of SAO, I'm going to drop a clip. Um, just so you can kind of get a vague idea um, of the inspiration I've been using for this map. During the production of this map, I separated each aspect of the map into a uh, kind of a priority list. So first would be the terrain and then obviously the environmental assets and then the points of interest such as the tower and uh, the town. So there's obviously going to be uh, villages in these uh, white cylinders here, but obviously I haven't completed that part yet, but uh, you get the idea. But the first thing I did was I created these huge mountains on the side of the mountain to prevent the player obviously from um, escaping uh, the place and secluding the environment more. And uh, what I did for this is basically just use the grow tool. I went around and I just did this. And then uh, sometimes I'd use the flatten just to flatten the top out. And then I'd paint the side with rock. The rock material. And as you can see this is literally what I've done throughout the whole, um, the whole mountain range. And then as you can see there's different uh, kind of layers, different... Uh, heights and all that kind of stuff just to be more just to have more variety obviously i could uh, i used the if you go to region and select you can kind of copy and paste terrain by doing this and then clicking copy and then move and then you can kind of just paste it if you want that kind of saves a lot of time as well which i took but i recommend you edit the terrain after you do that because uh, there's um, some weird clipping sometimes um, which is basically what I did simply to get the terrain um, done, which took me probably like an hour or two to complete, maybe two or three, um, since this is a 4000 by 4000 map. Now, as a tip to you guys, if you guys ever get a, a big commission for like a big map, um, you're going to have to make sacrifices. For example, um, there is a minimum amount of environmental assets and stuff like that there's like four variations of uh, rocks and a few different variations of trees and obviously since the map is so huge you know you're not going to be able to detail every single aspect unless obviously they pay you extra um but that's up for the uh, your commission to decide and stuff like that um so i basically created these different types of assets and i utilized the brush tool plugin and then I literally just painted all these um, trees and foliage and all that kind of stuff around. I had to manually adjust most of it because um, some plants would be floating and stuff like that which was a pain but um, yeah that's pretty much it when it comes to foliage. Um, obviously I made in Blender and there's um, uh, bushes and stuff like that. But yeah, like I said, you're going to have to sacrifice some things when it comes to making huge maps. But that's just the way it is. I'm being paid about a hundred and something K Robux for this. I forgot what it is. Um, 
so obviously there's going to be a lack of detail in certain aspects of the map but it is what it is the commissioner will probably have to um you know add to it later on or if they want commission me afterwards again or to expand the map and develop it and stuff like that which i don't think they'd do but you get the idea now for those who have watched sao you will notice that the key aspects that i've clearly um taken out now i haven't shown the town yet um purely for that basis but as you see there's the tower clearly um which actually is outside of the map because the commissioner didn't specify whether they actually wanted a tower um so it's currently outside of the map in the distance in the background and then we have the town of beginnings which is essentially just a town with a spawn area that is um secluded from the actual uh houses and stuff like that so the player can basically just uh travel through this part of the map just because um basically you save you it's like if you um build a bunch of different buildings into this area here then obviously the character would have to the player would have to travel all through here and then it wouldn't be as optimized because it's just a bunch of um buildings obviously this map is huge so um you want to uh, be more um, efficient with like performance wherever you can. So obviously, as you can see, I used the walls to block off this area. So now the player can just walk down here and they can leave through the front gate. Obviously, um, things like this are distinct to uh, the anime itself. I'll throw, pro I'll probably throw screenshots up on the screen. Um, but yeah that's pretty much it for the town another thing i'd like to mention is as you can see i've added a variety of um elevation throughout the map so that you can climb up this mountain here there's different kind of uh, layers here that um i use the rock material to kind of um emphasize the uh, the fact that there's a little bit of a hill here and to differentiate the whole green color um since it was excessively green, I added a bunch of uh, uh, hills around and then I used the rock material to just break apart that um, really green feel. That's pretty much it for this video. If you guys want me to break down how I made this map uh, more in depth, then, you know, go ahead and like the video. Uh, also, uh, drop a comment down below and just tell me that, you know, you want me to develop this video more. You want me to... Um, you know break break the whole map down and uh, i'll do that in a separate video other than that that's been it for me uh, i'll see you in the next one peace